What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we managed to get to the Santa New Santaloon Forest and make it to Santaloon City, you know, that kind of stuff. And, well, we made it into the uh, Pokemon Center where there is a Pokemon inside, and, you know, Tierno, he wants to inform us about everything, you know? He's like, oh, yeah, Sensei, there is a Pokemon in the back of the Pokemon Center. It's a good idea to suck up on some Pokeballs and potions and stuff at the Pokemart too. Well, like, it's not like we didn't know that. Now, this place right here actually holds a changing place too if you guys want to actually change clothes. Now, the beauty part about Kalos is that you are enabled to actually change clothes whenever you want. Now, it takes a few places in order for you to collect a few clothes. Like right now in Santaloon Forest, or not Santaloon Forest, but Santaloon City, they're going to introduce you to these places and these boutiques where they sell clothes. As you can see, this place right here only sells caps. Look at that. All these caps are nice and cheap. They come with buttons and all that stuff. Off screen, I will be getting all of these guys and then, you know, like from time to time, I will be changing my clothes depending on what the situation is and all that stuff. So, here we are, Santaloon City, a traditional city. Pretty simple, you know, whatever. And I see my mouse right there, I just didn't notice that. <laughs> We're going to be taking a small tour of Santaloon City, battling the outskirts, and then after that, you know, in the next episode, we, you know, we're going to be going through our first gym battle. Now, if you talk to this lady, when a Pokemon is evolving and you don't want it to evolve, Try pressing B. It suppresses the Pokemon and makes it stop evolving. That's evolution canceling, which is true. And if you talk to this girl, if you love your Pokemon, even if it changes its appearance, you'll stay connected with it. Let's see you. Let's see, you and Froke are very connected to each other. That's what it looks like to me. We don't get any item. Now, let's see, I think there's an area right here where you can actually trade for a Pokemon. That's what I'm trying to look for right now. I think it's this guy, right? Uh, the gym, the gym leader in the city is fantastic uh, uh, photographer Viola. I I'll have to go find some bug type Pokemon if I want to have any uh, of my pictures displayed at the gym. Okay, and then let's see. There are so many great gym badges uh, to be earned in the Kalos region. Do you want to hear about them? Even though I do, I don't because yeah, it's it's just gonna take a while to actually get to know all this stuff and well time is of the essence we need to battle everybody in here now let's see this is a cafe right here and i'm still trying to look for the guy that trades you pokemon right here i think it's this guy right here let's see pokemon uh, that you get from trains tend to grow easily and they grow quicker or stronger but you know if you don't have enough gym badges they might not listen to your orders this is so true now i think it's this guy if we trade Pokemon, you and I will become acquaintances. So how about it? Why don't you trade me a bundle beef or my Farfetch? And off screen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I did. I did. Uh, what was it? I did capture a few bundle bees, So that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to trade one of my bundle bees for his Farfetch right here. So I'm saying goodbye to bundle bee. I should have called it Bug Bunny or something. I don't even know. And look at that, Farfetch. Just like in the original versions, gonna getting a flying type Pokemon. Look at that. Cliff send over Quacklin. Okay, alrighty. It's a good Pokemon. Take good care of Quacklin. Now it's not like you can't get uh, a Farfetch around here. I mean, you can capture one in the wild, but that will take. And it will take a, a while to get, so, you know, why not get it right now and then try and defeat the gym leader with that? Um, oh yeah, I completely forgot. Off screen. Yes, I did capture myself another Pokemon, if you guys can see. I caught myself a Fleshling and named it Fireblade. So, part of the, the Blade, part of the Blade family or something, I think. As you can see, uh, Fireblade right here is normal and flying type. It does have some good speed, very decent on both attack and defense, and eventually it will evolve into a fire and flying type Pokemon. Right now it only has tackle, growl, and quick attack, and it does have big uh, big packs attack, which, what was it? Protects the Pokemon from defense lowering attacks, which is good, because I have a lot of people here trying to lower my attack and defense and all that stuff. So let us move on right here now. Lexi, Lexi, trainer tip. The first Pokemon to appear in the battle will be the one in the upper left 
corner of this list. Okay, now if you try to go into this area right here, this person will stop you and she's gonna be like, Oh, you! You are, aren't you? You're one of the kids that, who got a Pokemon from Augustine Sycamore, right? That Froker you got there looks pretty happy. You must be a good trainer. In that case, get over to the Pokemon Gym. I'm sure my sister will be glad to meet you. Ah, oh, your sister. Okay, well, I'll keep that in mind. And, well, let's see. Now, in the Kellos region, they're going to be big on cafes, cafe uh, coffee diners and all that stuff. Eventually, you'll be finding some pretty cool stuff there. Now, if we go in here, this is a motel. And, oh, actually, no, this is not a motel. This is a library. And, obviously, the library, or not the library, but the Pokemon School, they're going to be teaching you how to capture Pokemon, what else, capture Pokemon, learn status effects and all that stuff. Now, if you talk to this guy, oh, a new face in town, yes indeed, take this with you on your way, and we get ourselves some mix attacks, and then what else, oh, and this well, oh, and this as well, and we get ourselves X defenses, pretty good stuff, and yeah, okay, alrighty, so let's move on right here, let's see, Hmm. Oh yeah, the Pokemon Gym right here. Now, it's gonna be up in this area. Now, if you guys don't remember this lady, she was the one that just, like, zoomed by you when you were, uh, trying to get to, uh, trying to get to the next route. Let's see what she's all about. I'm gonna be switching out Pokemon right here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and try our new Pokemon Fireblade. Let's go. Okay, let's see what you got. Hey, stranger! Isn't cruising around town on your roller skates the best thing ever? Wait. Do you mean to tell me that you don't even own a pair of uh, roller skates? Then how about this? I'll be If you beat me in a Pokemon battle, I'll give you a pair. I can never say no to a contest, not me. So how about it? Do you want a battle? Sure, sure, why not? If it gets you out of the uh, get, get you out of the way for the Pokemon gym, then that's all fine by me. So here we go. We're going against Roller Skater Rinka, and she will be coming out with a zigzag goon. Look at that Pokemon. And here comes Fire Blade. Alrighty. Still not a fire blade, still not fire. But eventually it will be, become a fire blade. And, well, don't get this mixed up, guys. I did capture fire blade and Leah. Just for, you know, just for the time being, because this. Yeah, do I already have a Pokemon team in, uh, in mind? I just need to get them assembled. They're all in, spread apart in different rounds and all that stuff, too. So, yeah, these guys are temporary Pokemon for for this uh, this uh, beginning part right here because remember guys going to the first gym is easy going to the second gym takes a while so yeah along the way we'll probably be getting some new pokemon you know here and there i mean Kellis is filled with a bunch of pokemon right here and whoa. look at that fire blade growth level eight and there goes rinka yeah, buddy. Okay, so we got ourselves a new a new item right here. Wow, that was amazing. You might be even be stronger than the gym leader. All right, here you go. One spiffy pair of roller skates, just as I promised. And look at that, guys. We got ourselves some roller skates. Now you can use the uh, D-pad. I don't even know if it's a D-pad, but it's a circle pad right here. Listen up. I'll read you the instructions for your new pair of roller skates, okay? Our roller skates snap right onto any shoe so you can glide on your way around. All you need to do is move the circle pad to get those wheels going. That's all there is to it. So go on! Oh, it's your turn. Let's try gliding about, about like me. Oh, like that. Okay. So I'm going to be pressing that circle pad. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's right. Now, eventually, uh, I think throughout the Kalos regions, there's probably like two or three, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, there are two or three people out there in the Kalos region that will eventually teach you how to do some tricks on these roller blades. So, we're going to try and uh, find those people eventually. Now, we're going to be going here to Route two, uh, Route 22, and we're going to be battling a few people. I didn't, well, I didn't lie about the whole battling part. We're going to leave with one battle, come on. And... Of course, Route 22 leads to the Pokemon League, so we're gonna send that to this lady. Oh, I learned, um, okay, I learned all of my Pokemon battle techniques from Viola, the gym leader. Hmm. Okay. So here we go, Rising Star Louise, and she's gonna be coming out with her Psyduck right here. Luckily for us, 
Fireblade is still not a fire type Pokemon, so Slido can't do shit about this. But let's go with a quick attack right here. And bam. No, no it, it, didn't, it didn't do anything there, so let's go right ahead and uh, continue with these physical attacks right here. Now, off screen, I did capture a boatload of Pokemon. Believe it or not, guys, uh, first, like the first few routes here in Kalos is probably one of my favorites because you'll find just about any Pokemon here. Some Pokemon that can even be a part of your team and all that stuff. But what I did was I captured three of each Pokemon. That way I can send them to other versions of, uh, of uh, well, other copies that I have right here. And one of those Pokemon versions is probably going to be Omega Ruby because I don't want to just capture the, you know, the fully evolved Pokemon of said Pokemon right here. I want to actually get the pre-evolved form. So that's probably the reason why I did that. Now, here we have a Litvio, another Pokemon that I really like. And the fun, the fun thing about this Pokemon right here, too, is that it does have both male and female versions of this Lit Leo once it's fully evolved. One with the big-ass mane and the other one that looks like a pretty sleek mohawk and all that stuff. Fire mohawk and all that stuff. Fire hawk. That's right. And, well, you can find some pretty interesting Pokemon right here. You do need cut for that section, and we will be battling this later right here, so... Let's go right ahead and switch out to Aaliyah, my favorite Pokemon. And come on, Goldeen, let's show them how uh, what we're made of. I totally predicted that one right there. So here we go, another last, and she's going to be coming out with her Goldeen right here. Look at that. The Goldeen Pokemon. And look at that, my little Pikachu, Aaliyah, right here. And let's go with a Thundershock. Yeah, buddy, right there. And that takes care of that little situation. I'm feeling good. Great. Look at that. More experience points. And she will be coming out with a Meryl. Yes. Another Pokemon that I did capture was uh, Azuril because... Yeah, like, uh... Believe it or not, guys, in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, they, you, you can't get an Azuril out in the wild. You actually have to, like, breed the Pokemon. And I did one time... I did one time, but I, I, I kind of made a mistake on that. I think it has to hold a certain item. I thought that if you breed two Merrells, then, you know, it will become a, a Zuro. But no, it has to hold an item. Luckily, there was a good there was a good result on that. I got a, I got a you know, shiny Merrill and all that stuff, which was pretty fun. Now, if you talk to these people right here, the trick to quickly racing a lower level Pokemon is to keep it on the top shell or top left spot on your party. Then, as soon as you get into battle, quickly switch it out for a stronger Pokemon in your party. Okay. Switch battle. I was the biggest fan of Brace, the famous right horn racer. I even want to uh, went to faraway regions to watch her race uh, and cheer her on. Hmm. I wonder who. Yeah, I wonder who Grace could be. And I wonder if we can actually do this right here. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll eventually find out, guys. That's why we're in an adventure right here. Is Pokemon battling just a hobby to you, or just, if, uh, or you just want to become a pro? I think it's both. Can it be a, a boss? Like a hobby pro or something? I don't know. Okay, so Rising Star Leo Chief, or Leo, or I don't even know how to pronounce his name. He does have a Riolu right here now. This is going to be a little tougher because Riolu, pretty strong Pokemon, very, very physical. So let's go. Thundershot. And that counterattack missed. That's one of the reasons why that Pokemon's a little dangerous because it does have counterattack. And of course, it used Endure, so it won't fade. So let's go ahead one more time, Thundershock, for the win. That's right, Leah owns you. Yeah, buddy, look at that. And Leoch, or Leoch, I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Okay, so let's go right ahead and give some more love to our Kakashi Hitake right here. And, well, let's move on. Let's see, there's more Pokemon trainers right here. Oh, there's like two or three. Okay, so let's go with the guy in the grass. And he's like, you know what this is, right? It's the beginning of a Pokemon battle. Oh, damn. The beginning of a Pokemon battle. And Schoolboy Rabby wins the battle. And he will be coming out with a Pidgey. So I probably should have stayed with Pikachu right here. But Kakashi Hitake is here. Alrighty. Okay, let's do this. Bubble attack. Hey, look at that. Kakashi Hitake. Young Kakashi Hitake right there. And here comes that gun attack. Oh god. Okay, so Lexi, quick attack, will it do it? 
it can do it. Look at that. Faster than a speeding bullet. Kakashi Atake takes out that Pidgey. And bam! Look at that. Kakashi grows to level 14. Always good. And it's trying to learn Water Pulse, so I'm going to actually switch Bubble Attack for the Water Pulse because it does have a somewhat of a good effect, which is confusing the other Pokemon. The opposing Pokemon, I should say. And here he comes out with a Metapod. So, let's go straight to... You know what? Let's go to Lilia right here. Get it to level 10, and then we'll figure out what uh, Fire Blade can do later on. And look at that. Aaliyah looking all majestic and strong and everything. And here comes a Metapod. Let's go Thundershot right here. Oh, yes. I'm not using a Fire Blade right now because... Yeah, physical attacks won't really work on the Metapod, especially at this stage. And bam, okay. So, there's another trainer down. Let's go right ahead and talk to this trainer. Go, Buttleby! We'll do this as a team. Didn't even know that was a trainer. Okay, so here we go. Schoolgirl Mackenzie wants to battle, and she is coming with her Buttleby. I think we just created one of those things. Look at that. Kakashi Hitake, look at Strong. Okay, let's go. Water Pulse. Oh, yes. Now, some of my Pokemon, like Kakashi and Pikachu, or Elia, have gotten a little stronger because, like I said before, off screen, I did capture three of each Pokemon that were offered around these areas, except for except for the route that I'm currently in right now. And that's because I kind of want to, you know, trade them out. And, uh, well, actually, not trade them out, but switch them out to different versions right here. The other thing, too, was that I got myself Pokemon Bank onto this actual 3DS. I always had to use the older 3DS to do that. And let's see. See this small ledge right over, uh, right next to me? You can jump over it for a shortcut. It's one, of, it's one way, though. If you jump over it by accident, you'll have to take the long way back. Well, there's a good and a bad right there. Now, like I mentioned before, guys, the Pokemon League is right here. Of course, we don't have any kind of badges, so we won't be going there for quite some time, and here is the last trainer in this whole route. I care less about battling than showing off my awesome Pokemon to everyone. Hmm. Is that so? But yeah, like I was saying, guys, I finally got myself, uh, what was it? Pokemon Bank onto this 3DS right here that I'm currently playing on. That way, it's, it, that way it's a lot easier for me to just access some Pokemon or just send Pokemon from my other versions, such as Sun... Uh, Ultra Moon, all those versions right there, and I hear that you can actually, yeah, like I hear you can actually transfer these Pokemon into your Nintendo Switch, which you guys probably already know, I recently bought a week ago, so that right there is pretty exciting, so let's go, quick attack, let's beat this Flabebe, and Flabebe has been defeated. Now, look at that, level 9 Fire Blade, alrighty. Almost goes to level 10, which is pretty cool right there. And the Flabebe has been a Flabebe. Okay, so let's move on. As you can see, we can't surf through this area. I think we're just about done here. And look at that. We found ourselves an item, which is a super potion. A very good item as for this level right here. And let's see. And that's pretty much it right there, guys. So in our next episode, we will be going into the Santa Loon City Gym. We're going to be battling our first gym leader. And then, after that, we'll see what happens. But anywho, guys, I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying the, you know, this little marathon for my birthday. Yes, good old Draven is turning 30, and yeah, he's still coming out with marathons and all that stuff. So thank you guys for watching this episode. I will see you guys in the next one. See you guys.